In this chapter, we will learn how to create elementary data object by using standard data type. And this is a very basic SAP ABAP skill. And we will learn by creating a Hello World program. Okay, let's begin this chapter. We go to transaction code SEACT. This transaction code is a tool for ABAP developers for creating a program. We input the program name. The program name must be started either with Z or Y. This for preventing the naming conflict with SAP standard program. For this time, we create without top include and we create as executable program. We see there are several types of program. Executable program type means that the program can be executed immediately without creating a transaction code. Usually, we use this program type when we want to create a report program. We will discuss more detail about the program types later. Okay, first we declare a data object or in other programming languages, data object is called variable. The syntax for declaring a data object is data and then the data object name. And then we assign a data type to the data object. For example, we assign data type string. And in SAP ABAP, every statement is ended by period. The data type can determine what type of data the data object can store. With data type string, the data object hello can store character string data. If we want the data object can store numeric data, we can use data type integer. Okay, for better understanding about data type, let me explain you the theory of data type. In SAP ABAP, there are three types of data type. First, standard data type. Second, local data type. And then the last is global data type. Standard data types are predefined by SAP. They are divided into two groups, complete and incomplete. Complete standard data type means that the data type has fixed length. So, when we declare a data object with this data type, we cannot add the length information. The complete standard data types are D data type for date with length 8, T data type for time with length 6, I data type for integer with length 4, F for floating point number, this data type has fixed length 8, String data type for dynamic length character string and X string data type for dynamic length byte sequence. And then the second is incomplete data type. When we declare a data object with incomplete data type, we have to add length information. The incomplete data types are C data type for character string, N data type for numerical character string, X data type for byte sequence, P data type for packed number. We will discuss about local and global data type in the next chapter. Okay, now we go back again to the program. 
For example, in the program, we declare a second data object with character data type and with name my name. Character data type is incomplete data type, so we add length information. For example, we set length to 20 and then we add third data object with name today with type date. This data type is complete data type with fixed length 8. So we do not need to add length information. We save and activate the program. We simplify the codes. Instead of writing the syntax data several times, so we put colon after data and then we separate between different statements by using comma. And then we assign values to the data objects. First, we add event start of selection block. There are several event blocks in executable program type. And we will discuss this in another chapter. We assign word hello world to data object hello. And then we assign, for example, Mike to data object my name. And then we assign a date to data object today, for example, 27th of January 2016. We assign with format four digits year and then two digits month and two digits day or if we want to assign today date we can use system field c datum and then we saw the data object by using write list we use colon mark instead of using syntax write several times. We write hello data object. And then we write string my name is. And then we write data object my name. And then we add slash mark for putting the next word in a new line. And then we write string today is. And then we write today data object. We save and activate the program and then we execute the program. Hello world, my name is Mike and today is today date. We see that today data object is not displayed with that format. So we modify again the program. We activate again the program and then we execute the program. 
Okay, we have already learned how to create elementary data object by using standard data type. Thank you.